All right, everybody, this lesson is on fractions on a number line. Don't forget, all your lessons are found at MrMathBlog.com. If you get some uh, time, just hit like on this. It helps encourage me make these videos here, so uh, to help you guys out. So our essential question is how can we represent and locate fractions on a number line? Okay, I have a few examples here. Uh, Grant's family is traveling from his house to Shelter Cove. They stopped at gas stations when they uh, are one-fourth and three-fourths of the way there. How can he represent those distances on a number line? Okay, so we can use a number line to show fractions. So um, uh, the length from uh, one whole number to the next whole number represents a whole number. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? So from zero to one, zero is a whole number, one's a whole number. So this is the length of one whole number. So we're going to uh, represent this as the distance from Grant's house all the way to Shelter Cove right here. So uh, let's see. So the line can be divided into equal lengths, any equal lengths that we need to on this. So here we're going to uh, locate the fractions on this number line. So uh, if you have fraction strips, probably in your classroom, uh, they would be helpful here. So again, here's Grant's house, here's Shelter Cove, and this zero to one means one whole distance from Grant's house to Shelter Cove. So uh, Shelter Cove is a place in Northern California, and it takes me about six hours to get there. I live in, in Sacramento. It's a beautiful little, uh, they call it the Lost Coast. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this. It says, step one, uh, divide uh, the line into four equal lengths of fourths and place one-fourth fraction strips end to end above the line. So what we're going to do is, I'll do it once, you guys. We're gonna, this is a fourth fraction strip. I'm just going to drag this over here and place it right there and then right right where it has um, uh, the end of it I'm going to go ahead and put a little line right here so this is this is one fourth right here so then I'll I'll just drag that over and then put another one right there so I'm just going to keep doing that right there so I'll put another strip right there and then I'll drag it over and keep doing it and I can do it four times so there it is four times so at the end of each strip we drew a mark right there Okay, so uh, now we're going to count the force from 0 to 1, labeling the distance uh, distances from 0. So here's Grant's house. He's 0 away. And then here's Shelter Cove. He's at 4 uh, force. 4 force represents 1. Okay, so uh, we're going to count from force from 0 to 1. So this is 1 fourth right here. All right, let's go ahead and put that in. And then we're going to add 1 fourth. So this one's going to be 2 fourths right here. And then 3 fourths for the last one. And then, of course, to, to four fourths right there. Okay, so now uh, let's draw a point one fourth to represent uh, the distance from zero to one fourth. And we will label it G1 because that's where he got gas first. So we'll put a point right there and label it G1 right there. Okay, and then, um, and then three fourths is three out of the four equal lengths. So here's uh, uh, from zero. So here's one fourth, here's two fourths, here's three fourths. So we're going to go ahead and put a point right here and label it G2 for gas station two. Okay, so let's go ahead and think about this problem. It said uh, they stopped at gas stations when they were one fourth and three fourths of the way there. So how can we represent those distances on a number line? Okay, well remember, here was Grant's house, here was Shelter Cove, and so here was one-fourth of the way, and then here was three-fourths of the way. And I didn't write this in there, I should have. How many fourths are these two apart from each other? These are two-fourths apart from each other. Okay, uh, let's see, two-fourths of the distance away. Okay, here's another one. So we're going to complete the, the number line to name the point right here. So we're going to name this point right here on this number line. So write the fractions that names the points on the number line. Okay, we'll do that in just a second. So uh, this number line is divided into eight equal lengths. Can you see this is one-eighth, one-eighth. So there's um, one-eighth, one-eighth. There should be eight of them right there, and it goes from zero all the way to one. From 0 eighths right here, 0 eighths all the way to 8 eighths. So the length of one equal part is one of these. It's 1 eighth right there, okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, keep continue right here. So this is 1 eighth. This is going to be 2 eighths, okay? And I'll just keep clicking. So there's 2 eighths. There's 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths. Okay, what's this one going to be? This one's going to be 7 eighths right there. And that's what we're looking for right there. Okay, so uh, let's see what else we have. So shade the fraction strip to show the location on the point. So I'm going to shade this whole fraction strip all the way up to there. Okay, so there's that right there. 
and then uh, let me just slide that up here we go so there are how many out of how many equal parts uh, shaded well it looks like there are one two three four five six seven out of the eight equal parts shaded right there so uh, we can say that uh, the shaded length shows seven eighths okay easy enough huh you guys especially if you have it already uh, made out for you right there so uh, seven eighths names that point right there Okay, and then uh, take care, you guys.